Uh, speaking of Bulgaria, Richard, you were in um, Bulgaria yesterday, Sofia to be exact. Uh, do you want to account for your movements and tell us what you're up to? Yeah, I was um, lucky enough to be invited to play in the Stylian Petrov Foundation. You had a, the match of hope. Um, you look at that Bulgarian, the table and where they are and that. And yesterday we were playing a game against the, the legends of the 94 World Cup, the likes of Stoichkov and Bal Balakov and... Berbatov, Martin Petrov, Stylian Petrov, Bozhanov, and it was just an amazing occasion. And it's uh, it's incredible to see how the how the the team has fallen in in terms of you go back and look at those superstars. Stoichkov yesterday was playing left wing at 57 with a gold chain on, <laughs> looking perfectly cool and just really enjoying it. But um, yeah, even I mean there was 40,000 people there yesterday, and apparently they had sold 750 tickets for the. Bulgaria versus Iran game tonight, you know, so wow. the interest has definitely dwindled and the, the glory days from back then are, are certainly gone, but it was a great, great day. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Who was on the uh, the World Eleven? Um, from an Irish point of view, there was myself, Shea Given, uh, Roy Keane played, dominating the midfield. Uh, Martin O'Neill was the manager. <laughs> um, we had Vidic, uh, wow. Colo Torre, Perez, Jorkaev, Malouda. It, it was a really good uh, turnout and, I mean, Stilian's one of the most popular people in, in, in football and what happened to him and when it happened to him was a real shock to a lot of people. So the fact that he's recovered how he is, he's still trying to make a lot of money for the foundation. And yesterday was a, a real, real big um, occasion for him, for his family and the Bulgarian public were brilliant with him. Certainly. I think I still have Stoichkov in my uh, my sticker collection in, in the attic at home. <laughs> Tell us, how did he play yesterday? Was he was he, he still a cut above everybody else? He was brilliant. I, 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 when I'd <laughs> seen his name there, I thought he'd be there for two or three minutes, yeah. take kick off and walk off. But I think he played 65 minutes and he was brilliant. He had he could switch the ball from one wing to the other and he was just pulling out his guy and the fans were just lapping it up and he was just relaxed and loving it all. And he was, uh, yeah, he... he he looked unbelievable yesterday, so I can't imagine him in his pomp how good he must have been. But it was uh, it was nice to share a pitch and to be on the same place as him. Tell us, did you get a bang on the head or anything yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. Eleven years on from from that night in Moscow with the with, yeah, with, with the shirt. The, a long time ago. Do you know? I, I thought yesterday. I didn't even, I, I didn't think I could play at all because I've not yeah. kicked the ball for four or five years. And as soon as the game started, I thought that's slow enough that I can get involved. So I managed to get on for 45 minutes in the second half. Damien's dying to ask you, you might as well tell us, what was the result? 3-3. 2-2 that one that came on, so <laughs> yeah. it wasn't, yeah. It was... <laughs>